Hey guys, long time no see. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial for uh, Yaldabaoth, I think that's how you say it, <laughs> from Persona 5. It's the final boss theme. Um, it's really cool. I'd say it's cooler than your average final boss theme um, in the sense that uh, it, it's unique. It um, In the beginning, I, ha I tabbed it out and uh, it has this cool 5-4 to 4-4 four, four thing going on. Uh, and you never really see odd time signatures like 5-4 in video game music normally. So I think it's really cool. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more rocky than most of the other stuff on the soundtrack. So, you know, that's always great. Uh, but yeah, I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, I've been busy with college and whatnot, but figured I'd just finish this one up because I've already had half of it recorded for like a month now. So yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Here's the first part. Uh, I forgot to mention I'm in standard tuning right now. So that's E, A, D, G, D, E, A, you know, you know what standard tuning is. Okay. So for the first part, I'm doing this. It goes like that. So I'm doing it in octaves just to give it more balls because if you just do it like, I don't know, <laughs> it's more fun that way. So, I'm not doing power chords, because I'm pretty sure you can't hear the fifth on most of those chords in the actual song, so I'm just doing octaves to be safe. So, the first one is uh, D, so it's on the fifth fret of the A string, then the octave is on the seventh fret of the G string. I go down to B, so that's second fret of the A string and fourth fret of the G string. So like that. And I just do like a little scratch. Then I go up to F, which is on the third fret of the um, of the D string, and the octave is on the sixth fret of the B string. So so far like that. I go back to B, so just where we were before, second fret of the of the A string and fourth fret of the G string. So and then I go up chromatically, so it goes. So this is also an on odd time signature, and um, I have it written in five four at <laughs> like one hundred and ninety beats per minute. But I think it's probably like, I don't know, I might be, this is just off the top of my head, so I could be totally wrong, but I think it's like actually should be written as 9-8 at like half that tempo. I think that makes sense. I don't, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I don't want to think about it, but uh, the point is it's not in 4-4, four, four, so it's, it might feel a little bit weird if you've never um, 
like add an extra beat to a measure before or experimented with any odd time signatures so the whole thing sounds like this so basically it's just adding on another beat there so um, that's what we know so far and then here's the part where it goes up chromatically so you hit this B again uh, which is in the same spot and then you go go up to C which just move up a fret literally C sharp move up another fret and um, then you scratch it there and then go up uh, to the um, the starting position which is D and that's starting the next phrase over uh, over again so um, Here's how it sounds. It should be like that. And then when you hit this D up here, that's the first note you play of the next phrase. So then it goes back into 4 4. So. That's the next part. So after you get back up to that D, that's the next phrase. And it's almost entirely the same. Uh, it starts out the same, so you have. And instead of going. You just go. So that phrase is. And you just hold it on this third fret of the A string and fifth fret of the G string. Alright, and then after that, it repeats. Um, and you do the first phrase again, uh, which is that one with the extra beat. So you do this again. And when you get back up there, it changes a little bit. So instead of going, you do this. Yeah. All right, so what that is, is um, so it starts out the same, right? You go from the fifth fret down to the second fret, and instead of going, you go, and that is on the G string, second fret. This is an A, and then the octave is on the fifth fret of the high E string. So it's a bit of a weird kind of jump because you're moving both your fingers down two uh, strings and then go back to the um, B on the second fret of the A string and then jump to this um, this F again which is on the third fret of the of the D string we've hit that note before a lot and that's how the uh, intro goes and then after that um, it does again, but this time, like, sort of a lead guitar comes in. And this time I only play the higher octave, so I can get some vibrato and stuff in there. So... Yeah. So that's exactly the same notes. I'm only playing, like, I'm only playing this higher note, basically is what's going on. So I'll, uh, I'll walk you through that. And then I'm just adding like vibrato and pinch harmonics, whatever I feel like <laughs> doing. So seventh fret of the G string, and it's all in the same rhythm, obviously, to the fourth fret of the G string, and then up to the sixth fret of the B string. And you'll notice that these are all just like on the octaves we were doing, they're just the higher note, literally, so. And that chromatically is four, five, six, a uh, little scratch, and then back to the beginning of the phrase, so. That part, you just go four to five, and then repeat. And this last one. So that one. Seven four, obviously, and then up to f the fifth fret of the high E string. Back down to four, and then to six of the B string. So it's literally just the higher octave of what we're just doing. Um,
you know, with more uh, musicality to it or whatever. And that's the end of the first part, and then it goes into something else. Okay, here's the second part. Oh, my bad. <laughs> So it starts out like this. So you're gonna want to palm mute the fourth fret of the G string, and then really accent these two notes up here. So that's seven to six of the G string. So you have just like that, and then you move down everything one fret. Palm mute and it's the same like shape. So palm mute the third fret of the uh, G string, really accent these two notes, so that's 6-5 this time of the G string, so so far, like that, and then move everything down a fret and do it again, so this time you palm mute the second fret, and then you have 5-4 of the G string, so, and then after that you have... So you have four of the G string, and then you have two of the G string. And then you slide up to the fifth fret of the G string. So, so far, oh sorry. Okay, and then you, uh, after you slide up, you hit it again, so. Then you do that, so. Right after you hit that for the second time, you go fourth fret of the D string down to third fret of the D string. So, so far this section. Like that. And then. This part's kind of weird. So you go walk up chromatically from second fret of the D string. 3rd fret of the D string, 4th fret of the D string, and then you have 5th fret of the A string to 3rd fret of the A string, so, and then go down to the 2nd fret of the A string, and this is all in kind of a weird rhythm, I would recommend like listening to the song over and over again and like really focusing in on like what the rhythm is that's going on here. It took me forever to figure this part out just because it's like so weird, but I'm really confident that this is what it is, right? So. So after you get down to that second fret of the, of the A string, so. Go back up to the fifth fret of the A string. And then back down to the second fret. So, oh my bad. Like that. And then you have three on the A string, back down to two on the A string. So, I'm just gonna play that part a couple times. Alright, that's how it goes. Then after that, it repeats. Uh, this time with a uh, guitar harmony, but I'll do the guitar harmony in a different part, so. That part is the same, right? So it's the same all the way up to that point, and then. It, uh it changes to that for the second like half of the phrase. And what you do is slide up to the 7th fret of the G string and hit it three times and on the third time you pull off to the 5th fret of the G string. And then you hit that, uh, the 5th fret again, and then slide down or pull off to the 4th fret of the G string. So. That. So this whole section goes like this. And yeah, 
it goes like that. And that second uh, time it kind of repeats, there's a guitar, guitar harmony, which I'll uh, go over in the next clip. Okay, here's the guitar harmony for the previous section. So it only comes in on like the second time. So it's it starts during this part. Like the second time it does that. So here's what I figured the guitar harmony to be. It might not be a hundred percent correct. I'm pretty sure I listened to it really closely. So um I'm pretty sure this is what it is. Anyway, this is what I figured out. Oh my bad. Alright, so it starts out like this. You're gonna palm mute the seventh fret of the G string and then go eleven ten on the G string. And then move everything down a fret, and then you you're palm muting the um the uh Sorry, the sixth fret now. <laughs> and then you have 10 9. So, and this is where it changes a little bit. So, you're going to go down and you're palm muting the fifth fret of the G string this time. And then you have 9 7. So, like that. And then you hit the seventh fret of the G string twice. And then slide up to the eighth fret of the B string. So, Six five on the G string. Oh, sorry. Like that. And then slide up to the tenth fret of the B string. Hit it three times, pull up to the eighth fret of the B string. And then hit that again. And down to the seventh fret of the B string. And that's the whole harmony. I'm like 99% sure that's exactly what it is. Um, I don't know. Maybe if you have a better ear than me, then uh, leave it in the comments what you think it is. But, you know, I'm like pretty sure that's correct. So, yeah, after that, guitar harmony part goes into the next section. Okay, so right after the previous section, it goes into this kind of like this part with no particular melody, it's just kind of percussion. I wouldn't call it like a breakdown really, but anyway, there's, bottom line is there's like four bars with no guitar, and then this comes in. Uh, and that leads into what I would call the chorus, or like the main part of the song. But anyway, um, I'm playing the 11th fret of the G string. Sliding up to the 14th fret of the B string. And then I'm playing 10, 12 on the B string, and then I'm bending up one half step. So I'm essentially doing. And then just sliding down after that. That's the whole like pre chorus part, I guess. That part's really fun to play. <laughs> and then it goes into this. Which is the main, like the big hit of the song or whatever. And that is just as simple as 15, 14, 12 on the high B string. The problem is holding it out for so long and uh, sustaining that note with vibrato actually. Which, uh, I don't know, you don't have to do that very often. Just hold that for like three whole notes or something, and then do it again. And of course there's a bunch of like harmony parts that come in and uh, make it cool. But essentially you do this four times. So... This is the second time. <laughs> Yeah, you get the idea. You just do that four times, and after that, the whole song loops, so it just repeats everything from the beginning. It goes back to the... Uh, 
and yeah after that you've learned pretty much the whole song so i'll make a separate clip going over like all the little harmony parts and whatever because that's where all the cool parts are rather than just rather than just doing that you know so but yeah after that the whole song is pretty much done you've learned every part so here's the clip with the uh, harmony parts All right, so here are all the harmonies for the last section. So the first time, it just does this. And there's no harmony at all in the guitar part. And the second time, it harmonizes it in thirds, so. So to play this, you just go um, 14th fret of the highest string, 12th fret of the highest string, to 10th fret of the same string. That harmonizes it, harm, Jesus, <laughs> that harmonizes it in thirds. And then the third time after that, it keeps the first two, so it keeps this. Then it goes and harmonizes it in fifths. And this, I like to do a bend here. So, yeah. That's essentially what it's doing. So I bend up from the 15th fret to the 17th fret. Bend back down to the 15th fret, and then go to the 14th fret, and hold that out for a little bit, then it does this little riff thing, which is like super cool. Uh, this is kind of like hard to think about rhythmically. I didn't, like when I was tabbing it out, I really had trouble like getting all the beats to line up, because essentially what you have is like seven notes in the span of of one bar of 4-4 four, four, that aren't exactly like I don't know you just have to kind of feel it and that's the point of what I'm saying I don't know because I didn't I could never figure out how to how to write this out properly on staff paper I, I ended up doing some like crazy dotted quarter notes like four over two or something um, <laughs> I don't know maybe I'm just stupid but uh, you know the idea is just to feel it so what that is, is 14th fret of the G string, 16th fret of the G string, 14, 15, 17 of the B string, then 14 of the high E string, and then 17, 15, 14, and then you have um, this little, little trill thing, 14, 15, 14. So that part sounds like this. Just like that. <laughs> and then the last one. Do that again, right? Harmonize it in fifths again. Which is just the same thing we already did. And that's the last riff. And this one's even harder to think about in like a bar of 4-4, four, four, but... I'm, all the notes are correct, right? So this time, after doing that, so it started on the 16th fret of the of the G string, then work your way down, um, 16, 14, 12 of the G string to the 16th fret of the D string. Then you have 14, you just hop right back up to 14 on the G string. Then you have 14, 12 on the G string, and then uh, 16 to 14 on the G string. Back up to 16 on the, on the D string. Then you have 16, 14, 12, 11, and then you have 14 this last little riff, 14, 12, 11 on the D string, and then back up to 12, and then you have 11, 12, 11, this little trill thing, and then you end on 14 of the A string, and then back into, but yeah, so as far as the last two lines go, the harmony parts with like the little little riffs attached to them you go like this
again, it's kind of hard to, like, play it with a metronome or whatever, because it's going to be kind of, kind of hard to, like, line the beat up exactly. But my suggestion is just to, like, feel it, play it with this song a bunch of times, and kind of, like, I don't know, work out the timing. <laughs> but, yeah, after that, uh, you've learned every part to the song, and you can play it. So, um, I hope you guys found this video useful, if you wanted to play this song. And if you didn't, uh, I hope you found it entertaining. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.